Good morning, everybody. It's another beautiful day here. Beautiful morning on the proving grounds. We are gonna try and ride this jump today. So I think I'm going to finish building the case deck on it. Put a little bit more dirt up on top of it. And we got some of our homies from Beer Money Racing. Two of the owners is gonna be here in a little bit. And then this is the only jump that we have capable of riding right now. So I'm gonna finish cleaning up this landing and we're gonna catch a session. So check this out. So as you guys saw in the last build video, we made this landing massive. We made it way bigger than wider than it was. So we need to clean up that lip a little bit, pack that corner down get our carpet stake down good. I'm gonna jump in the skiddy, grab some of this big pile of this dirt over here. Can't really tell, but this corner over here is lower than right here. So we're gonna build this out, make it a little bit taller, make it so that if you actually case it, you're not gonna die. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys a little update in a bit. So I just cleaned up this landing, stacked a nice deck on top. You can see how big it is compared to the skid steer. Looks like a tiny little, skid steer looks tiny next to this landing. Nice and steep, still a little bumpy, but we're just trying to get a session in and then we'll go back to digging, so. Here's two of the three Beer Money Racing owners. What do you guys think? That's good. looking pretty fresh, huh? Yeah. So, uh, These guys know how to shovel. This is the OG shovel crew of Utah, even though we're technically in Idaho right now. JGF was actually the first one to hit this before we made it really steep. Oh, yeah, that's true. I did that. And I got sketchy and almost hit the wall one time. Yeah, he damn near backsided it once. Yeah, it was fun. Good time. The lip kind of blends in with the landing. You can't really, videos don't really do it justice, but it looks pretty tiny under that lip. Booter. How about the video? Yeah. Yeah, Jordan River's kind of spoils it because it's so fucking long. I like, I like it in between. Not quite as short as mine, but not quite as long. Yeah, I turn in at Jordan River a lot earlier than everyone else when no one's there. Yeah. I turn in like right before the carpet instead of way back yeah. on that. I find myself getting too angry. I was banging out a frame rail with a three pound sledge and I fucking missed and smashed my ribs. <laughs> Cause Man, I'm pretty sure I broke my cracks in my wrist somehow. It hurt for a while. And then we got it's because none of you guys work construction. I do construction. I'm a professional hammer swinger, dude. Yeah, let's see you swing that hammer blade. I can do all sorts of cool. This is out of the way. Oh, you almost got your hand. <laughs> Two misses. But I did it. Too much. I bought myself before. Well, Jans has got me all fired up, so I got a little anxious. Yeah, you better get that gun yeah, swinging. Watch it. Perfect. Go faster, Precision. faster, faster. Precision. Precision for corner. Yeah. yeah, that was good, I guess. Out here at the Neverboard Proving Grounds. Got a good crew. Catch a little session before we go back to digging. Got Paul and Jansen of Beer Money Racing over there.
Still a good day to be out. <laughs> Popier with that rut in it. <laughs> right? What do you think, Phil? It's great. I came out decking it once. Yeah. And I just had the front end munch and it was all like, <laughs> Yeah, I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty rowdy. That's fun, though. You gotta go fast, I'm, I'm huh? Trying to, yeah, I'm trying to figure out the speed. Right. Yeah, it's techy as hell that way. It's very techy. I threw it once, like, yeah, that's when it fucking. I didn't carve or go fast enough for that. I wish that darn rut would go away. So I say if we pack it all, shape it, leave the carpet off, let it dry, it'll bake. Yeah. One crust. Yeah, we can let it dry out after it's packed and not ride it for a minute. <laughs> yeah. This dirt just holds the moisture so well. I know. Well, it's like that lip's like always shady too. <laughs> Yeah, that land is gonna be dope. It's gonna be a big ass berm too. Do some night shots. Cause the ground's too soft. Dude, I pulled all those stakes out by hand. Yeah, it's it like no wonder why they're not. You can home. push them in by hand too. Yeah, it's just it's overly still wet. Yeah. yeah. session riding the bikes and now we're digging so jake's over there in the x digging out this landing for the 100 and the 120 we got to widen it and dig it down quite a bit more to get that steepness he's bringing me a big pile of dirt right there and i'm then gonna run continue stacking up our freestyle ramp landing with that big logger we got Landing all dialed in, hit it a few times, it is perfect. Uh, yeah, let's get to it. So, right now we got Polly Pocket building us a nice K stack for the 100 footer. And 120 jumping back this direction then you're gonna land here we got factory fill and jgf bmx cleaning up that lip over there tons of help super great for these guys but then me and blade i'm running the big excavator carving out that landing blade's taking all the scoops of dirt that i'm pulling out of the landing and stacking the ramp landing it's a full on team here and we're all just wilding out. Thank you boys. Quick update on the freestyle landing. Got it stacked pretty high now. Just kind of trying to cut in a little bit of a slope so I can drive up it. Um, trying to square it up a bit. Just have to take a quick snack break. I need to check the oil on this thing because she leaks quite a bit. Keep her topped off. 
I'll do that and then get back at it. Still a ways to go. It's probably like 40 feet wide. Man, we're moving some serious dirt. Blades having a heyday. There's a ramp landing up there. I'll show you guys. Let me know how this looks. I'm gonna set it up right here. Scooping out the landing of the 100 footer and the 120. Ideally, this would be a lot better with the dozer. We could just push it up and push it back down. But we're working with what we got. So many, this is the fastest machine we've got for carving out a hill like this. And then blade is just going wild with the loader, so. Gonna have to do for now. Hopefully, we can get. There is a possibility the guy that owns this machine is gonna come up here with the dozer for at least a couple of days and help us move some dirt. So, like this whole dig video build process stuff because typically we just film the riding but we're trying to do a little bit more vlog style stuff and just show you a little bit more behind the scenes of our lives, the, uh, the build processes, all the good times, all the bad times. And uh, yeah, we're just going to make this this channel as big as we can. We're always doing constant, we're constantly doing cool stuff like this. So let us know if you like it or if you'd rather just see writing. This audio might sound like crap too. Who knows? Just let us know. I'm curious.
fairly steep incline, so just got to be super careful, especially where this machine is, I don't know, probably a half a million dollar machine or more. No way our broke, broke asses are going to be able to fix it or replace it or anything, so... Give us some tips and advice. What do you want to see us dig in the property? What do you want to see us build? What do you want to see us jump? What tricks do you want to see? Do you like this type of stuff? Do you dislike seeing the end product and the riding? Let us know. Blades out there going ham. That landing's almost as tall as the dozer now. Looks like a small little pile of dirt on camera. All right, guys. What time is it? Five, three, four. <laughs> oh, dude, it's 5.40. Oh, my gosh. So we just had Phil, Paul, and Jansen leave, Beer Money Boys, and uh, stoked to get a little session in today. I think we're going to jump back in the equipment and try to just work till it's dark. Blade's working on the ramp landing over there shoveling out the 120 and the 100 footer so we're just gonna keep on shoveling away while we got some wet dirt so let's do it all right we're nearing the end of the day beautiful sunset going down little ramp landing update got it quite a bit taller wider looking sweet i'd say it's probably about halfway as tall as it needs to be plenty wide really excited about that been running dirt from right here that jake's been scooping out there's a perspective of the size of the landing right now compared to the loader almost as tall as the loader Quick another little update. We are getting close to dark now. The sunset is gorgeous. We got um, the 120 landing and the 100 foot landing all carved out. We got confirmation that we have a dozer coming sometime next week for two or three days with a really good operator that's just gonna push out all these landings and make it really nice. So we're not gonna do a whole lot of detail work here. It's kind of hard. I'll let me, let me swing around just with one hand, so can't really. So there's the, the run out, the landing's gonna land. This will be the deck of the landing 
currently where I'm sitting in the excavator. And then it's gonna slope down all the way and then have a clean run out over that direction. And then there's the 100 foot lip and 120 lip. And then there's the back side of the landing on the jump that we were riding today. It is a big landing. You can kind of get a little justice on how much dirt we moved the last few days to get that thing carved out so big. That skid steer looks tiny next to it. But yeah, then these ones, I don't really know. We me I don't. We measured them once upon a time, but I'm pretty sure that one's like 120 or 130 that jumps over the hill, and that one's like around 100. And then. There's the 200 foot one down there at the bottom and the 150 foot one. So it's, uh, it's coming along. We're moving a lot of dirt pretty dang quick. Every time we're out here running equipment, luckily we have a dozer coming, which is going to shape these landings super duper quick. So stay tuned guys. It's going to be, a sweet piece of property and we're gonna keep these vlogs coming at you as much as we can we're also gonna go ride a bunch of other places on this channel it's not just this property but we wanted to show you the build process and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it Today, I think. <laughs> All right, here's the final check in for the night. Standing on top of this, what's come becoming to be another massive landing, just like that one over there probably can't see a dang thing but man beautiful day with beautiful friends running some awesome machinery so we will see you guys on the next vlog